We'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. <sighs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Anyone who attends this school would have interacted with him, whether they liked it or not. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamashita used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamashita, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamashita. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita. But was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Ah, earlier than expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashita and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now. What would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? I believe that time would just be wasted. Go ahead. spot to hold our phantom thieves meeting that idiot as loud as always but his timing's perfect i'd like everyone else to hear this as well won't you take me to your friends i guess it can't be helped now oh hmm you here is that girl a friend of yours? What, uh, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. 
And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Uh, I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone who... Who? There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Hello? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. You won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh. Uh... It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if... You don't want to deal with us. We could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <sighs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. I don't have any proof, though. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I'm going to go now. It's enough. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough as it is. 
So it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just... Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it. And do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! Huh? Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell?! No, dude. That's a bike. I can feel it. Myself. Me. Got it! Wow. Nice. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. <clears throat> you better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you! I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? <laughs> Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Thank you very much. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way. That's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizons somewhat. My first step will be to learn more about the other students. But I still...
struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Really? I hope you're right. But I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? <sighs> I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! So this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit. I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Priestess Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. By the way, you went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. 
Thank you. we go? Thank you very much. All right. Did you notice this? Thank you. Excuse me. Yes.
Yes. See you later. Actually... Yes. Actually... That reminds me.
You're right. Thank you very much. Actually... <laughs> Thank you. Hey.
you have time to spend with me? Shall we go? Excuse me. Thank you very much. Excuse me.
see. Shall we return home? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much.
All right then. Something the matter? Yes. Please listen. Thank you very much. See you later. online about horrible hosts like Sukasa all the time. However, 
We'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Eiko. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Not right now. We have proof now. Come on. It's almost time for Echo's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop.
You're right. Oh, I finally made up with Aiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. Yeah. I'm relieved she didn't get caught in his web. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end... Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. No, that's not it. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. Before now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. 
That is why I need to study. You're right. I will need an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. I'm glad you think so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Thank you for all your help. Must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Just kidding. Even so, I'm glad. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Actually, I'm sure I can. Because I have you. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. By the way, you can rely on me for anything you need. I want us to be equals. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> what a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. I will. The objective is the same after all. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. S so you see... Uh, um... Well... I was thinking... Maybe we could study some things we don't have experience in yet. Would that be okay? I want to be with you. We still have some time before night falls.
sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. That sounds lovely. All right then, let's take a walk. Oh, a food stand. Garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. It's amazing. How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. To tell you the truth, I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. But if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. You know I'm graduating this year. Um... I'd like you to have this. It's not the best souvenir, but... It will remind you of the memories we made today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. I suppose I can't complain about that. Apologies for being so distracted. I can't stop thinking about Akechi-kun. Are we really no match for him? <laughs> You're right. What's done is done. We should enjoy ourselves for the time being. is never very popular. The older teachers seem to enjoy it for some reason, though. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's choosing from the crowd? The MC this year is actually somewhat capable. Ooh, is that our lovely student council president over there? Huh? Do I have to go? That's not really the proper use for that phrase. Everybody's waiting for you, Miss President. <sighs> Here she is, everyone's favorite student council president, Makoto Nijima-san. Hello. So, with the Kamoshida scandal, Principal Kabaya... 
I made a fool of myself. The post-festival party has never felt that long before. By the way, I'm surprised you were able to say what you did back there. Huh? I was at a complete loss for words. You really helped me. Thank you. This may be a little rude to say, but you were surprisingly reliable in a pinch. My sister always says if I get married, my husband should be someone dependable like that. Oh, um, uh, forget what I just said. <laughs> everything that happened with Akechi-kun. My final post-festival party has turned out to be quite the unforgettable one. Oh, right. Here. If you'd accept this... I hope you enjoy it. Come. Go home. Sorry about this. I know it's a special day, but that's also why I wanted to see you. Honestly. You always have that charm ready, but thanks. It's just about time for dinner, so why don't we find a place to eat? Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, come to think of it, uh, well, it is a cold Christmas Eve, so... Do you want to hold hands? I can't believe we couldn't find a single table. At least we can try to get a cake here, but... Even this place is so crowded. Th thank you. I feel the same way. Wait, focus. We've got a cake to buy. Let's get going.
It doesn't look like they have anything. Well, maybe we'd better find another place. You're not in the market for a Christmas cake, are you? Oh, um, we are, actually. Ah, fantastic! One of our orders was canceled last minute. You're kidding! I guess it's your lucky night. So, do you want to buy it? Well, if it's really all right... Then, yes, we'll take it. Of course. Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. I'm honestly stunned. This kind of thing never happens, right? Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> so good. Right? Maybe it was a good thing all the restaurants turned us away. O oh, right. Here, before I forget, I got you a present. I have to say, um... My life's gotten a lot more unpredictable since I met you, but we got through everything so far. And it's made me realize... I wouldn't want it any other way. I thought you might like this watch. Just in case we, uh... lose track of time together. It's really nothing fancy, but... I'm glad you like it. Oh, wait. Don't move. <laughs> You've had some cream on your nose. How did that even get there? <laughs> I usually don't laugh this much on Christmas, but I guess it's not just the holidays. Meeting you's helped me see so much humor, even excitement in the most trivial things. You helped me find so many new experiences beyond the life I'd known. Thank you for spending Christmas with me. And for loving me. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, look! It's so beautiful! Snow must have picked up after we got back. Coming back to LeBlanc really was the smart move. Now... We get to enjoy the view. I didn't know I could be this happy. It almost doesn't feel real. You're right. It's just so different from how things used to be. Hey, it's getting pretty bad out there. As much snow is bound to stop the train schedules. Hope you don't mind, but I'll be staying a little longer. Oh, can we talk for a little while? Hey, hey. Thank you very much. I'm sorry.
Thank you very much. I'll give it a try. See you later. Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. Right, today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh boy. Good evening. Should I come back later? Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here. I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. You seem to be doing well. Sure. It's nice to see you again. You don't look like you've got any issues. That's my line. Suicide in jail, then New Year's in the reformatory? Ex post facto isn't exactly gonna cover this, you know? Honestly, can't take my eyes off you for a second, but I guess I'd better get to the point. Here. Chocolates. Don't worry, there's nothing too dangerous in them. worst case scenario I could probably get it into prison for you that new medicine for that girl I told you about has been working really well and the day-to-day -day works going fine I'm a regular neighborhood doctor now thanks I just hoped you were safe but looks like you made it home without a scratch guess I had nothing to worry about Something wrong? I see. Can I sit next to you? I know that look in your eyes. You've made up your mind. No rush. You can hold off until things settle down a little, but if anything happens, call me. You know how to reach me. By the way, something's different about you. Hasn't been too long since I saw you last, but you've got a little more confidence now or something. 
Still, I guess I've changed too. As a doctor, I've still got the usual obligations to help my patients, but now I feel like I've got something a little more specific. Like, I could risk it all to make one person happy. But you're a smart guy. I don't have to draw you a picture. I was never really into younger guys. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. Sorry to barge in like this. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. He was quite considerate. Welcome home, once again. At least you're aware of it. I was scared out of my mind, you know? It was like you disappeared. And after that, I find out you turned yourself in? I forgive you, but you need to stop shouldering all the burdens on your own, okay? I want to support you, especially when you're hurting. We can get through our problems together. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into a lecture. That's not why I came here anyway. Chocolate. For you. I'm afraid it's not homemade, but... Not that it isn't nice to hear, but that might be a little melodramatic. We came back, right? We're in the real world this time? I've been studying hard. I'm looking to apply to law school. My dream of becoming a police commissioner remains the same. Um, can I sit next to you? You're going back next month, right? Sure, just let me get my tickets. I wish. Our relationship can survive a little distance, right? Can I tell you something? When I was a phantom thief, I was driven by one goal. To help those who were unjustly suffering. And that hasn't changed, of course. That goal still keeps me going. But now, I have something else, too. Now, I have someone I want to be happy. I want to stand beside them. Not as a phantom thief, but as myself. Someone very special. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. Huh? Uh, something wrong? Huh? Um, okay. Thank God you said something. I was getting kind of worried. Today's, well, you know. Okay, let me get changed and I'll meet you there.
It's beautiful. I've been to aquariums before, but... They never seemed quite as magical as this. That was a long time ago, though. My father took me here once when I was in grade school. My sister would have gone, but I think she stayed home that day. Too busy studying for some exam. <laughs> hey, you asked me out because it's White Day, right? On Valentine's Day? Well, I didn't know what to think, but it does make me happy to see you putting in the effort. Thank you. Hey, are you hungry? I think we've seen everything here. We could go get some dinner if you want. What? Really? Well, now you've got my hopes up. I guess we'd better get going. This restaurant really is lovely. You don't say. Sounds like you've got some friends in high places then. If you're trying to be unbelievably smooth, it's working. Especially earlier when you went to the staff to get our reservation. You were so composed. That was the most adult I've ever seen you. <laughs> Sorry, I need to step out for a moment. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What's going on? <gasps> wow! What? Thank you. Seems unreal, like something that only ever happens on TV. But now that it's happening to me, I I don't know what to think. I'm just so happy. Is it because I don't have experience in these things? Would I know what to say if I dated someone before? You think so? But if I had, then... Would I be this happy? I guess you planned today out to the smallest detail, huh? Thank you. Really. Now that I think of it, this is just like you. Whenever you go to this much trouble, it's always for someone else's sake. I need to start following your example. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, hey, do you have to be anywhere after this? If not, um, we should spend some more time together. Wait, I, I don't mean to come off as clingy or anything. It's all this romance in the air. I don't know how to deal with it. Still, if it's just for one evening, we can lean into it, right? Sorry to bother you when you're so busy, but I wanted to see you before you left. It won't be long until I'm living alone, too. We'll both have to get used to the quiet. Really? <laughs> I guess I have something to look forward to then. My sister and I are actually going to go look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. Of course, I'd never have gotten to this point alone. You gave me the push I needed. Back then, I was just another honor student. <laughs> 
Meeting you helped me change how I define myself. So I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep fighting. <laughs>